Allegory of the Cave, Plato's, read by Socrates. Anyway, that is what my son and I were trying to talk about on the vlog where we just um, laughed and goofed off instead. Anyway, um, Colt is on this journey where he and I talk a lot because we are very much in a similar place on this journey called life. And so we talk about what he's learning in school. I talk about what I'm learning in HCG, at work, just life things, you know, spiritual, physical life events. So lately we've been talking about our journey and we've ta been talking about change because one of his professors, which he says is the most amazing professor he's ever had, he's really challenged him and the class a lot. And he said at one point in the class, he was so angry because of the way the professor was trying to not manipulate change, but challenge change, challenge people to change. And so since Colt's a big, you know, lifelong learner type guy and really wants to get things, he really wants to understand things and he really wants to change and he wants to be the best he was created to be. He was really angry and um, asked the professor if he could talk to him alone. So the professor happens to be a millionaire who is um, lives on a yacht and he basically teaches for free at National University at San Diego. And um, so he invited Colt to his yacht and he said that basically you know, if you don't show up on time, I will never spend time with you again. So what the allegory of the cave is, is um, on Wikipedia, and I encourage you to look it up and try to analyze it with our HCG journey. Like if you were in a cave and you were chained to the wall and you were accustomed to looking at the wall but there was light behind you there was an opportunity to get out of the cave behind you um, would you go out of the cave what would you do and what would happen with all the people that were locked in the cave with you would they want to be free and get out of the cave as well and um, so what he talks about is that you may be that pioneer that gets out of the cave, but guess what's going to happen to you? The people that are still in the cave that don't want to look at the light and that don't want to get out of the cave, they will be mad at you. They will be angry at you. They may throw rocks at you. So therefore, I feel like what I got out of that too is just love your haters. Love your haters. We have some haters here on in our HCG community, and you know what? One of, uh, an author said recently at the conference I went to, he said, love me, hate me, but don't ignore me. Love me, hate me, but don't ignore me. So if you think about Lady Gaga, look at how popular she is. People either love her or they hate her. Do you know that one of the number one vloggers, I don't know if it's in the nation or just Seattle, but he has over 180,000 subscribers and he teaches people how to be really good vloggers. And he has probably maybe a thousand or so likes on each vlog and on average maybe a hundred or more dislikes. So when I saw that on his vlog, I just kind of laughed inside like, why do we take it personal? This guy is a great vlogger. He is a very successful person. He gets massive dislikes. So we just need to be, love your haters. Your haters challenge you. Your, your haters might be jealous. Your haters might be looking at that cave wall and don't want to see the light. So whatever the case may be, they're not ignoring you. Love me, hate me, but no, don't ignore me. Because when people ignore you, that's when you got nothing. But when people hate you, you got something. People hated John F. Kennedy. People hated Jesus Christ. People hated Martin Luther King Jr. But people loved them also. So bring on the haters. Let's let them challenge us. Let's let them be a part of sharpening us and making us better. Another thing my uh, son taught me was that we are all on this airplane trip. And, and we are supposed to be the pilot of the 
airplane. But a lot of people in the airplane, there is no pilot. They're just kind of hanging out and lingering and they're running out of gas because we're all running out of gas because we only have so much time in our life. So who, you are the the pilot, but who is your co-pilot? That is somebody you choose in your life. It might be your life partner. It might be your best friend. Uh, it might be a teacher. It might be somebody that you're really close to at the time. But who is the person is, that is really good for you in your life that improves your life? Even if, even if they challenge you and say the hard stuff, that's who you want to be your co-pilot. And who is your staff? Who are your flight attendants? Who are the people that work for you? Those should be the people that are, reciprocate you, that work with you, that work for you and do a great job and people that you can trust in your life that help you. And then there are your customers. And those are the people that sit on the plane. And those are the people that are just along for the ride. And the people that are just along for the ride, they might even be a family member of yours. They might even be a parent of yours. They might be a friend of yours. But what are they doing for you? Nothing. They're just sitting there along for the ride. So what you do for them is not hate them, not resent them. You just continue to give them their apple juice and their peanuts and whatever they want. And you just go on and direct and pilot your plane the direction that you're going and realize who your customers are and who your staff is. And so... The lesson from my son's professor was, who is your staff? Who should your staff be? Are these people that are good people that you can trust in your life? And even some family members are totally untrustworthy emotionally, mentally, physically, verbally, whatever. Those people, just put them where they belong in your mind and in your heart. They might be customers. And if they are customers, just love them unconditionally, right where they're, where they're at. Get them what they need and what they ask for and you continue to be the pilot but remember those customers might make fun of you those customers might get mad at you those customers might think you're stupid for the way you pilot the plane your plane so in light of our haters I love haters take care guys bye